with Claw 3.5 Sonnet, we can create video games now. We're gonna go ahead and check that out. I created a video on Claw 3.5 Sonnet earlier today, and I realized that there was a pretty big feature that I did not really showcase, which is the ability to use artifacts. With artifacts, we can actually ask simple questions, let it code it live, and get the live preview within all the same user interface. So let's go ahead and make the sky purple real quick. Let it code, let it code, or let it snow. Now we got a purple sky, and all we did was ask. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to create a video game with artificial intelligence. I'm even gonna show you how to leverage this technology and get the source code for the video game we create today. Welcome back everyone. Yesterday I did a video comparing ChatGPT and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, but prompt for prompt. So using none of its other features. Now, a big feature that I did not showcase is the artifacts feature. Had a ton of comments telling me to check it out. So we're checking it out today. In this video, we're gonna make a video game with it. Now what is super cool about this kind of interface is that we're gonna have it code for us and we're gonna be able to play the video game and do it all within Claude.ai. Knowing this, you can expect some more Claude videos these next couple of days. I'm gonna show you how to make a landing page. I'm gonna show you how to leverage all these new features. This, this thing's gonna be fleshed out, y'all. Like, OpenAI has got some competition. And I've been seeing a ton of feedback on cross social media being like, yo, Corbin, you gotta check out this 3.5 Sonic. Okay, I'm checking it out. Let's go ahead and check it out. Furthermore, I don't know if you noticed, but yes, we're wearing the W. WDC shirt from 2017. AI just got released in the previous WWDC Apple. Let's go and see if we enable this though. To enable this, you're going to need a pro plan. You're going to come down to our settings here. You're going to go to feature preview. Once you click that, we're going to go ahead and say on. With this on, this is going to give us the ability to do what I'm going to show you in this video. Corbin, I don't want to pay 20 bucks to use this feature. Go ahead and not pay it. What I will say is in the last couple of months in what we've seen with AI and its progression, this is a pretty big deal, y'all. I'm actually really impressed by this feature from Anthropic. So basically everyone that invests in Anthropic, like Amazon, they're making some good money right now. Let's check it out. Like every good video game, we need a character. Make me an 8-bit llama character. Why are you saying llamas? What's going on here? Look at my profile pic. I got a llama sweater on. So we're gonna make a game about a llama. So what you'll notice is <laughs> what you'll notice is that looks like a dog. So actually, I'm going to ask it to make another llama for me. Try again. Make it better. And I realized I'm not in the middle. I'm going to do this. Shrink down. With this kind of user interface, we got the chat here. And we got the llama here. This is going to be the visual elements. This is going to be very important for other contexts. But for now, let's create a video game. Now, the type of video game we're going to create together is one we've seen many times. You have Google Chrome. You're not connected to the internet. A little dinosaur that's running, trying to jump over the little desert cactuses. Let's go and ask this. I'm going to say, okay, great. Let's make a side-scrolling video game together. Ask me the relevant questions you need to know to effectively do this. Now, what is super cool about this is it really doesn't require much input from you to kind of get going here. Like it's very much so provide limited input. You can even talk to it in a layman way and don't know what to do. So we got a llama. Let's say our llama is in space. So we're gonna go with the theme of sci-fi. Here are my answers. Now, what is really nice here is that if you're creating your own video game, or whatever you want to do with these artifacts, is you can take a similar route here. You can basically ask, what are the relevant questions you need to know in order to give me the output that I'm looking for? It's going to kind of guide you in a way. So I'm going to do sci-fi. Who is the main character? The llama we created. What is the main objective? We're going to say collect coins and jump over cactuses. So we actually answered number four of that with cactuses. Are there any special abilities or power-ups you want the main character to have? If they hit a star, I know very creative, right? Let them run through everything and not worry about obstacles. How far we've come with artificial intelligence, what I'm about to show you would have taken hours on Stack Overflow and understanding of how to even do all this, but now we can just talk to it. How many levels of stages were say infinite levels? It's score base. Do you have a preference for art style? We'll say we like 8-bit. What kind of platform are we talking about? Just say website. Would you like to include any additional features? Score system is all. Let's let the magic happen. Hit enter. Perfect. It has everything we want. It gives me an overview of what to proceed with. Also the option to open said document. I'm going to simply say, okay, looks good. Let's code it. Hit enter. We are generating some code. Now, I don't expect this to be perfect right out the gate. If it is, then I'm going to be genuinely impressed. But it's probably gonna need some touch-ups here. Like for example, I need to ask to play it because right now it's just showing me some text. 
and I can't jump a llama over some cactuses with some text. Let me play this game. Sometimes you got to prod it a little bit further here. Let's see what we come up with. <laughs> All right, y'all. We got our game. Ah, okay. So it's a little glitchy. I'm not going to lie. It's a little glitchy in the sense of like I could spam space and just fly into space. Spam space. Yeah, that rhymed. But, oh, okay. This is actually pretty fun, y'all. So obviously our llama doesn't look amazing. But that's the kind of llama we went with. I can hit restart here. And we have officially created a video game. Let me actually see what we can do here. So we, okay, we got the whole screen here. Restart. All right, let's write in the comments right now. Do not cheat. Do not cheat. What high score do you think I'm going to get into? Or how, how high how high of a high score do you think I'm going to get right now? All right. Here we go. I'm not going to cheat. All right. Oh, it's like Flappy Bird. Okay, I think the little stars right there are the power-ups. Okay, that's the power-ups, I think. It makes me yellow. Oh, sh That didn't count. That didn't count. All right, restart, restart, restart. That didn't count. I was trying to get the mechanics here, all right? Let me try this again. I'm honestly having so much fun, y'all. This is actually really cool. So, okay. Let's confirm if the power-up works. So, power-up works. Okay, power-up works. Little yellow stars. I mean, kind of looks yellow. Okay, let's see how high I can go here. No cheating. Okay, we'll do one tap. I can't do two taps. If I do two taps, I'm cheating. All right. 15. Okay, he's generating cactuses. We're good. 24. Whoever put 24, you get a cookie. Now that we've created an entire video game, we can either copy the code over here or alternatively download the code. Click that. It will download to your browser. And once it's downloaded, you can open it in a program called VS Code. And you have the code to the video game you just created. This is awesome, y'all. Like, this is next level. This is like the kind of stuff we saw in the early days of AI, like a year and a half ago. Oh, code an entire game. And it's just like, was this really real? Now it's real. There we go. Cloud Artifacts. We're going to do a ton more videos on this. So make sure to subscribe and check out the other videos I'm going to do on these artifacts. These are pretty cool, y'all. Make sure to leave a like. It's completely free. If you want to see a comparison before prompt to prompt between ChatGPT and Claude, you can check that out on my channel as well. Last video I just put out. And I'll see you in the next video. That was pretty solid. I'm impressed. This is going to get crazy in two to three years. Those are random videos. That's my face. And I'll see you in the next video.